Shout out to our wonderful Patreon supporter, Odie Chatfield, for making this video possible. Thank you so much for the continued support, Odie Chatfield. It means the world to me, it means the world to Chrism, it means the world to the amazing face, Papilla. One like on this video equals one cuddle, one pet, one smooch on the Papilla's face. If you love pretzel, make sure you like this video. It's gonna need it, because it's a short video, and we really need help sending these out to feeds. Shout out to our producer, Alice, of course, as well. Her links are on screen right now. Make sure you support Alice and show her some love. Hi, and welcome back to Crinks TV, where it's Halloween every single day. Except when it's not. If you're new here, I'm Minx. And I'm Quizum. And today here, we are playing Bloody Woman. This is a game about a haunted laundrette, I believe, by 616 Games. We've played a few of their things before on the channel. I've played a lot of their things on Twitch. And uh, let's jump in, shall we? Might as well. Remind me to change the filter once I get in the game. In fact, I can do that right away. PS2 quality. Well, I can't actually. There we go. Well, we'll do it in a minute. <laughs> After the opening cutscene. <laughs> these are all funded through their uh, Patreon, I believe. So that's why there's all these different credits of people and stuff. Mm. Fair enough. Music is by Carl Casey, White Bat Audio. I use it on our streams too. It's really good stuff. Mm. Royalty free. Which is why I don't have to worry about muting it or turning it off. There we go. Doesn't that look nice? It looks so much crisper, doesn't it? It looks exactly the same for me. <laughs> don't worry. First night of work and I'm already going to be late. Well, you are getting fired very quickly. It's okay. I'm a numkin. Do you know that? Shit, who the fuck invented the job? The English in these is never that great, by the way. <laughs> There's certain tropes in these games. Someone will come in and say, good day, like that. And then instead, when they say goodbye, they won't say good night, they'll say good day. I can mm. tell you, that, that always happens. And characters always sleep at the most inopportune times as well. That's another thing in these games. Yeah, you know. Good evening. You must be the new employee. Arrive late. Good evening. Sorry for the delay. I missed the bus. I had to walk. Yeah, they're saying good evening. Yeah. I'm late for an appointment. I don't have time to explain your work. Okay, no problem. I just need to take care of the laundry and take care of customers who need help, right? Exactly. I left a paper with some tasks for you. Be careful. The night shift is sinister. Sinister? What do you mean by this? Don't you know the story of the bloody woman? Bloody woman? No, I don't know anything about that. Ten years ago, a woman worked here on the early morning shift and the machine shorted out and the laundry room caught fire. She was trapped inside. She had 90% of her body burned, but she was still rescued alive. After a few months in hospital, she disappeared. Her appearance was terrible. She was completely disfigured. The laundromat was rebuilt two years later. Since then, it torments and kills everyone who works the late- Why is she telling us this? <laughs> the late night shift. Okay. Number- <laughs> Go on, sorry. You just said you're late. And you couldn't explain our job to us, but you could explain an urban legend to us. <laughs> <laughs> Which arguably would probably have taken the same amount of time. It's really weird. Because I'm in a laundromat, so surely it's like, make sure no one bashes up the machines. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My god, is this real? What the fuck, man? I'll be on the late night shift. Relax, man, it's just a legend. I gotta go now. See you later. By Steven. If that is your real name, sliding out the door, walking through the wall. So it's going to be a standard running a... Oh, I don't need a flashlight right now. I guess we, there'll be a power cut later on, I'm guessing. All their games involve running a store of something in most cases, I will well, say that. you know what? You know what you know. And because you know what you know, you know it. You're so <laughs> smart, baby. How could you possibly <laughs> clean the floor, fold the press clothes and put them out on the shelf? Take out the trash. Hang on. Why are we folding Why are we clothing? folding the clothes? This is a self-service laundrette. Why are there clothes here that aren't in the dryers and stuff? Do we do dry cleaning as well, maybe? I guess. Either that or they're not entirely sure what a laundrette is, the developers. Well, maybe they don't know what they know. <laughs> I think I've ever been to a laundrette. 
Oh, I used to go to them all the time because uh, we would live in apartments. And, yeah. Um, but, uh, see, every place I've been to in the UK, admittedly, we haven't met, lived in that many places, but even, you know, just in general, like, Airbnbs and stuff. I don't I don't think we've come across a place that didn't have at least a washing machine, but in the states, like barely any apartments that I lived in had the space for a washing machine or the hookups for a washing machine. Um so we had we would have to go to the laundromat and it would be like either a half a day or an all day thing cuz you would get like all the laundry and do it at once. Who turned on the washing machine? Also, where the fuck are the things I need to fold? Of course, that might not be normal. That might just be because my family was busy and they didn't have time to go more frequently <laughs> to do smaller loads. So they just tended to just do like... You know what I would always hate having to do? Mm -hmm. Is like blankets and shit. They were such a fucking faff. Oh shit, someone's here. Hi, cust Hello. customer. Spelt wrong. Good night, I told you. <laughs> I've never seen you around here. <laughs> Good evening, sir. It's my first day here. How can I help you? I'm just going to put my clothes on my left in the morning. Aren't you afraid to work here at night? Why would I be afraid? I'm just working. Don't you know about the legend of the bloody woman? I would never agree to work here at night. See, it makes more sense for that, for this person to have told us, not yeah. like the start. It's true. I already know about the legend. I'm not afraid. It's just a legend to scare children. It's not just a legend. I've always been a customer on this laundry. I knew the woman who had the accident. Her name was Mary, and she was a very good person. After the fire and burn, she became someone else. I visited her in the hospital twice, then she disappeared. Now they say she kills everyone who works here on the late shift. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm not afraid. I'll get your clothes. You are very beautiful. If you need anything, just call me. You have my number on the client list. Thanks. Why is this dialogue? <laughs> you are very beautiful. Wilson, his name That's is, right? fine. Don't worry about it. There we go, Wilson. So this is a fancy ass goddamn laundromat. Okay, it says it says fold the washed clothes and put them on the shelf. Where are the washed clothes? Oh, here. Put clothes. There we go. Oh, baby, I'm doing my job now. Oh my god, employee of the year, right? But yeah, it's very common in the UK to have a washing machine and dryer in your house. Okay, well, clothes not, holders not successfully. not really a dryer. Washing machine, at least. I mean, the only place... Oh, we... God, don't look. Oh, God. Ah! It's not, it's not as bad as, like, an actual strobe light. It's not actually, like, bad at all. It's just, like, a little bit disorienting, mainly because of the, um... First-person thing. I don't know if you saw it, but there was a bloody lady that ran past. Yeah, I, I saw something. I saw something going. She was a jamkin. Oh, hi, other person. I'll get back in for you before you get there. Hang on. Good, e good day. Hello, my name is Martha. I've come to pick up my clothes. It's already paid for. Good evening, Mum. Have you been a customer of this laundry for a long time? Yes, I've been washing clothes here for a few years. Do you know anything about the fire that happened here? That was a long time ago, but I heard about it. It was all over the newspapers. Do you know anything about the woman who worked here? I don't know her, but I heard she had burns all over her body. You don't Why believe- Why does she look so nice in comparison to the other models? There was another game they did, by the way, right? Where all the models were like these PS1 models, except you, the main character, who was this gorgeous, curvaceous female character. <laughs> and she makes out with the, with the models at one point, and it's the weirdest shit. <laughs> you don't believe in the legend of the bloody woman, right? No, I know it's just a legend. Thank you. Can you take my clothes? Okay, sorry to bother you. I'll go get your clothes. All right, Martha. I like the fact the customer is spelled wrong. Every time. Take out the trash is the, our final objective. You know what? Everyone in the comments, let me know it, your laundromat experiences. Is it normal to, like, leave your clothes there and, like, come back for them all done? Because when I was a kid, m m <laughs> admittedly, my mother had this thing about leaving the stuff alone. 
Like, she didn't trust our clothes and blankets and stuff to be left alone. So when we went to the laundromat, that's why I said, oh, look at the look at the gem. That's why I said, um... Don't worry, he's just talking about a gem. Keep going. Uh, oh, no, flashing lights again. Well, like I said, I, I'm happy it's, le it's at least not like, um... Strobe. Strobe. Uh, or like bright, or like a brightening of light. Yeah, let us know your experiences, as Cousin was saying. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, that's why I said it was like an all-day thing, because, um... Is something my eating mother, the trash? My mother didn't like leaving the clothes by themselves, so one of us always had to stay with the clothes. And then my mother didn't want to leave us alone, so we just kind of... Yeah, we would like be there for hours. Oh, that sounds awful. Yeah, it was really hard. It was. It's, it's not hard. It was just boring. Yeah, <laughs> especially for kids. Um, something was. It sounded like something was eating the trash when I put the second bag in there. Is a raccoon? Okay. Oh. Hi, hi Mary. Shut up. Okay. It's well. a shame that the music industry is so shit. <laughs> yeah, and it's a shame. I thought this was jam, but it's just a red thing. I think we've done all our jobs now, though, so all we need to do now is wait for the inevitable death and destruction that awaits us when Mary decides to kill us. Yay! Shit, is anyone there? It's the same thing as before. Did someone turn the fucking... Wasn't there another one of about a laundromat that we played? Um, yeah, Blood Wash. Yeah. That was a lot a more ambitious project than this, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here comes our next guy. Hi. <laughs> No. Good evening, young man. Did you start working here today? Good evening, sir. Yes, it's my first day here. How can I help you? I came to get my clothes. My god, they were so dirty. Excuse me, sir. Can I ask you something? Of course, boy. I love talking in laundromats at night. You seem to be a long-time customer of this laundry. I think the legend of the bloody woman is real, or am I going crazy? Bloody woman? Yes. I always knew it was real. I've seen her wandering around here at night. What do I do? She wants to kill me. I didn't do anything to her. What do Wait, I do? When, when did, what, we, no. We have already seen it, we've seen her twice and she seemed quite calm about everything. She didn't... Well, I mean, she was holding the knife that one time just now, but... She was just gonna cut some strawberries. Just some strawberries? Yeah. Oh my goodness. And she took the trash, that's nice of her. <laughs> what do I do? She wants to kill me, I didn't do anything to her. There's no escape, boy, she was just working. What happened was horrible. Please get my clothes, I need to go. I'm sorry, I would just leave the clothes. Fuck off, Steve. There's still one more pack of clothes, by the way, so we've got at least one more customer coming. Greg, apparently. What the fuck was that noise? Was that thunder? Maybe. Was that a, a car crash or something? Might have been a car crash. That definitely jam. Yeah, it's jammy. Oh, the lights are going off inside again. Oh, And my outside. God. I think I missed something there. Yeah, I think you did. In my defense, I only went to look at the jam. Mary? Mary! Quite contrary. Stop being a bumpkin, Mary! <laughs> okay, we can pick up the flashlight now. I guess Greg isn't coming for his clothes. Greg. The trash. Oh, the door just closed. Mary? Oh, I don't like this. This is actually a bit creepy. Oh, I thought she wrote open 24 hours on the front of the thing in blood. No, that was just always there. Yeah. Just written in blood, though. <laughs> There's nothing here. She's probably just a nomkin. She probably just wants her clothes cleaned. I mean, they're probably like, you know, like burned into her flesh, so it means it makes it a bit difficult. What do you want from me? Leave me alone. I think she just wants you to sample her delightful gem. She's a gem monkey, you know. My flashlight is no longer working. So what the fuck was the point? I guess Greg's gonna come now and do his bit of shopping. Gregory! Gregory! <laughs> He's not coming, but I don't know where he is. Baby, no! <laughs> I'm 
I mean, the power's back on. Everything seems fine. It's probably just the storm. We're just freaking out about nothing. We're just freaking out over a little jam monger with absolutely nothing to worry about. What's this vending machine for? Blur. Jesus, that's bright. I don't think she did anything. She just sort of, like, fucked with us a bit. Flash the lights. She didn't even say anything. She didn't even be like, oh, I'll kill you, or anything like that. Alright, well, I guess we'll just go back. Oh, God. I hear a Pete's. Baby, I heard a Pete's. Little tiny Pete's? Yeah. Are we going to get paid if the fucking thing doesn't count? The, the, the check-in thing. I feel like that's a major flaw. We did all the jobs, right? Yeah. Well, Mary... We're just going to cut here until something happens. Oh, hi, Mary. She was peeking. She was peeking at the door. She was, she was pressed the glass. And here comes a customer. In the middle of the night. When we have no power. Okay. Hi. I hate being in the dark, even more so when it's raining. Good evening, sir. Please need to help me. Relax, boy. You are very scared. What happened? The bloody woman, she's back. She's gonna try and kill me. Shit, what do I do? The bloody woman. This is just a legend, boy. Rest assured. I'm not kidding. I saw her, I swear. I'm sorry I'm really late for an appointment. Could you take my clothes? What appointment? <laughs> what appointment do you have in the middle of the goddamn night? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what you could be. Okay, thanks for your help, sir. He didn't give you any help! Are you being sarcastic? Here's your clothes, Gregory. That's right, get fucked. That's right, keep on walking. Please come back. Please. I'm gonna die! Maybe he has to go to his house. We could follow him, just like, just run up the road after him. Do you get it? No. Gregory House. Oh my god! <laughs> what a reference! <laughs> I've been watching House this week, guys, again. I love that show. Well, I was actually not talking about that. I was, I was talking about the one with the mouse. Oh, well, his name's Gregory House as well. Is it? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, there she is! Oh no, someone's dead as well! Is that the first one? From earlier today? Yeah, it's the guy who works here in the afternoon. <laughs> shit, shit! <laughs> Steven, you mean? That's his name. Oh. Why don't you know he's Steven? Steven has been transcended to Jamkinhood. Do we have a phone? We could just leave at this point, right? For fuck's no, sake. No, we came in on a bus. So we, we don't have a car to leave. Yeah, but I, I... Okay, running up the street is preferential to being in this laundry where there's a dead body and we can't phone anyone. Also, why does... What business? This wasn't here before. Today, with great sadness, we report a fire in the laundry in the city centre. After a short circuit in the wires, the laundry room caught fire and the fire took over quickly. The attendant who worked the site at dawn had 90% of her body burned and is in a coma at St. Thomas Hospital. Mary, only 25 years old, is completely deformed and is fighting for her life. May God have mercy on his soul. Okay. <laughs> I love the translation of these games. have never really improved in like two years now. They're just the same. Mary, if you want to just come and kill me, stop fucking with the lights and just attack me. Okay? Please? Oh, hi, sir. It's a very posh man just coming. All the way, just business is continuing as usual, even though there's a corpse outside. Good night, boy. It's a beautiful night. Sir, please, I need help. There's a dead guy back there. Someone's trying to kill me. I know. Poor Stephen. Just a working man, just like you. Mary won't stop. She wants blood. Are you kidding me? You know this bloody woman? I know her. She's not part of the world of the dead. But your death is guaranteed, boy. She won't let you go. Who the fuck is this unknown? Shit. Who the hell are you? I'm nobody. I'm just working. Like you. Dun dun dun. Is he the devil? Maybe. He sees Satan? Satan. <laughs> <laughs> it's Lucy. Lucy. Oh, I like that more. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Crazy old man. There's a dead guy and you haven't called the police, you fucking weirdo. He's still here, just chilling. Oh no, baby. The laundry machine is freaking out. 
You're freaking out. Prism's <laughs> dying from the laundry machine. Oh no! Turn off the laundry. Oh hi. Why does she just keep running past? Are you guys gonna do something? I hear her peats. Was, was the was the body holding something just now? I don't know, but she was in the office. I have a look. No. Oh. Worth a try though. She was she she closed the door and she was she was she was in here. Oh, jam prince. Oh, jammy jam. Jammy jam prince. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> okay. Um it's not the best 616 game I've played. I've played a lot better. Yeah, it's not, it's not the best. <laughs> you can't really see her most of the time. She doesn't do a lot until the end. Yeah, um... Maybe don't do as much, like, lights on and off. Because... I mean, you couldn't really see her a lot. But barely at all, actually, I'll be honest with you. Like, it was fine for what it was. This cost, like, 99 cents. Mm -hmm. Like, it's fine for what it is, but I think that the, um... I think that... I've played a lot of these 616 games. They have put out, like, maybe 30 titles at this point. Mm -hmm. And I would say this one's, like, somewhere in the middle. Like, it's not the worst time. Kind of, they have some really bad ones. But this one's kind of in the middle. Like, it's just a bit mid. Like, mm -hmm. there's nothing terrible about it. It's just... It's okay. Some mm -hmm. funny dialogue that I liked. And, um, yeah, that was about it, actually. <laughs> the funny dialogue was about the only thing I had going for it, I will say. Um, but yeah, you know, it's not a masterpiece like one of the Poop Killer games or anything like that, but, um, you know. Uh, that was, anyway, that was Bloody Woman. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on the video. Please let us know what you thought in the comments section below. Yes. Liking and commenting helps us out so much. Oh my god, baby. If you enjoy the stream, the, the, the video, you can also find some links in the description. There's our Twitch stream, there's all our socials as well, make sure you follow us there. And if you really want to help us out, consider pledging to our Patreon. The time of recording, we only need five more patrons to hit our goal for the month. Even at a dollar tier, it's really appreciated. Go check it out, link in the description right this second. Oh my god. Anything you'd like to add, Babanonki? Here's some videos. Go watch them. Oh my god. They're so numb. Look at that lonely look. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, bye. Bye.